welcome back to Studio Solo Luna. Today we are doing a quick little tutorial to learn how to body roll in our heels. Body rolling is fairly simple once you get down the technique of it, get down how it feels in your body, but if you've never done it before or if you're new at dancing in heels or dancing in general, sometimes it can feel a little bit funky. So today I just wanna help you feel more confident in your body rolls and really learn the technique of it. That way you can do it in your heels choreography classes. And in case you didn't know already, I just launched my brand new heels and burlesque program, Confidance, which is a 90 day heels mentorship and self love program and the next round will launch in January of 2022 so if you want to get on the wait list definitely click the link in the description below with all of that being said let's get into the tutorial okay so we are going to focus on three different types of body rolls we have our basic forward body roll we have our snake and then we also have a floor seated body roll okay so we're gonna do three different body rolls in this tutorial so the number one thing that you need to know about body rolls is that your body roll goes through your entire body, okay? So a lot of times if your body roll looks awkward or off in your dancing, it's because you're just using half of your body or you're just using a little part of your body when really your whole body needs to move, okay? So I'm gonna show you what a body roll looks like from the side, that way that you can kind of see what I'm doing with my body, okay? So just for our basic body roll, what you wanna think about is if there was a wall in front of you, every part of your body would be hitting that wall. And when I say every part of your body, I mean your head, throat, chest, ribs, belly, and then booty goes back, okay? So it goes through your whole body and it has to end somewhere. So the wall's here, I'm touching, 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 and then I have to release it, right? You can't go anywhere from here. You have to let it release in your spine. So we go forehead, throat, chest, ribs, belly, and pelvis, and then release. So boom, ka, yes. So just do this with me a couple times. We go body roll, sit, body roll, sit, body roll, sit. So if you're doing a body roll facing forward, you would just take it forward and sit. And you would usually go somewhere from there, but hum and ka. Yes, so it has to release, always remember that the body roll has to finish somewhere. So if you just go here, it's all right. But if you go here, hum, and then move to the next thing. It just looks better, it looks sexier, and it looks like you're doing more with your body. Also, one thing that you might notice is that I'm really arching my back as I go into my body roll. <sighs> yes, and when I do that, my core is still really engaged. Body roll, arch, core, and release. So anytime that you arch your spine and heels, you wanna make sure that you're protecting yourself with your core. So, hum and ka. So one more time, our standing forward body roll. We'll do it three times. Body roll, body roll, good. Nice. So really you'll feel everything just start to flow the more that you get it, the more that you think about all of those points going. And always remember that your head goes first. Hum. Yeah. So your head's like, you're like touching with the top of your head and then everything else just goes down the body, okay? So that's your forward body roll. The one that we do typically the most in heels is going to be your snake body roll and it would look like this. Yes, so we're taking the head to the side. Release. Yes, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. So with your snake body roll, you wanna think about, instead of your head is going forward, your head is going to the side, and then everything else follows. Hum, sit. So we still have that like sitting action, we're still finishing the body roll, but it's side of the head, throat, chest, ribs, belly. 
So the difference in this one is that we are taking our head to the side, we're kind of skipping the throat part, and we're going straight down to the chest, ribs, belly. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so with this snake, the head is so important. The head goes first, everything follows. First, follows, okay? So, it's literally like this one. Everything except the head is going to the side. That's basically the only difference. And you're finishing in whichever hit usually that you're on. Yes, nice. So, let's do two to each side. Snake left, snake right. So we go five, six, seven, and snake, body, roll, snake, body, roll. One more each side. Good, ka, ka. Nice, amazing job. So that is your snake body roll. Now the third and final body roll that we will do is actually on the floor. So it's the same exact principle as the forward body roll, it just feels a little bit different. So when we are on the floor, our body roll would look like this. One, two, okay? The difference in this is that it's more about the lower body. So I'm really using my chest, pelvis, and my legs to lift me up, okay? So my right hand is currently behind me. I'm just using this left arm to lift me up. It's kind of a nice little accent arm. So what I'm doing is I'm lifting up. I bring the chest up, ribs, pelvis. So it's like a little half body roll, okay? And you really want to accentuate the pelvis. One, two, three. Yes, amazing. So the, the pelvis part is so important and you really just wanna push up off of the feet as much as you can and that's gonna help lift you up, okay? So you're really using the stabilizing arm to push you up off the floor as well as your thighs. Body roll, body roll, body roll. Amazing job, my loves. I hope you enjoyed this quick little body roll tutorial. You learned a forward body roll, a snake body roll, and a seated body roll, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, that way you never miss a class from Studio Silly Luna. And if you wanna put these um, moves into action, these body rolls into action, definitely take some of the full length classes here on YouTube as well as I do have a seven day free trial of the Studio Silly Luna membership with over 60 classes in there that you can really try out these moves in a real choreo class. I love you babes to the moon and back and I will see you here on the dance floor or the yoga mat very soon.